In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Shh, don't tell Lindsay. I'm standing here in the bathroom. She's out delivering flowers and groceries right now. That's her side hustle. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart. It is time to stop talking about what we're going to do and it's time to start doing it. This comes out. This is our shower. We're going to build a frame, two by fours. If you remember from the picture of Little Lion Man's uh, house, going to build a frame and then uh, we're going to frame it in with two by fours and then put cedar planks along the side down here make it maybe about that high or so on either side so it's going to be open this whole area will be open we uh we're going to put a uh what do you call it um copper copper pipe is going to come along here and come around and a nice shower curtain it's going to be an open concept rustic looking it's going to match everything that we're doing in the camper and particularly in the bathroom i do know this will come apart everything i keep saying it but if you're following along because you want to see how things are done, um, everything that has been put together will come apart. Hopefully relatively easy. Can't really see how nasty it is. It's not nasty, it's just yellow. And um, rather than take this out, which I'm sure we could find a matching size shower area, we're going to keep it and Lindsay's going to paint this uh, special kind of paint. So it's going to be white, bright, beautiful, pretty stuff. Um, so I'm not going to take the screws out of the wall that hold it in place, but I am going to start to disassemble up here. There's a couple screws. I know this is going to allow the glass frame to come out and then I will just follow the screws on the bottom. There's this nasty carpet. I cut into the carpet just to see what was down here and it's wood. So there's plywood on the horizontal top surface and then this is a pretty solid wood down through here so that tells me what's up dog that tells me I've got some good wood that I can screw into for the most part um, and then I've got this area where we've got the heater coming out I'm going to have to when I'm putting the wood here I'm just gonna have to cut a hole where I can then install the vent again so this is the general idea of what I'm going to do. Kind of have it in my mind about the dimensions and all that, but there's going to be a lot of guess and check. So on that note, I'm going to put the camera down. I'm going to go pick up the screwdriver, uh, the screw gun, and I'm going to go ahead and start disassembling the shower. Getting rid of the carpet was just as difficult and nasty as I thought it would be, um, but it's out of the way. So now I can start breaking down all of the, um, the shower sides. Of course, nothing is easy. Um, what I 
got was the door came out pretty easy and I was able to take the top part off. Got most of the screws out. It's very loose, these two side panels. But the screws are, um, well, the screws are bad. And my screw gun's not getting them. And I don't want to just demolish this. I do want to get the screws out. So it's going to take me a little while to figure out how to play around with that without stripping the screws entirely or maybe I will strip the screws and I'm going to have to use a, uh, a wrench and just hand uh, loosen them. I don't know. I'm not happy because it's slowing me down. It would have been awesome if it was just zip, 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 zip and get it done. So on to the next step. Little victories today. There's no longer a shower. I'm going to clean up this mess and then start to frame everything out and God willing, it won't take as long to put it together as it was to take it apart, but I have a feeling it will be more than one day process. The negative is the camera is acting up and shaking. Uh, we got it from Best Buy and we got a warranty on it, and that means that if I have to take the Best Buy, it should fix it if it's broken, but that means that I might miss out on being able to do some of this work. So hopefully it'll hold up. It's time to Hey, 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 welcome to today. Uh, so what happened was our old camera was shaking. You could probably see it go like that. I mentioned that. I thought it was no big deal. Turns out it's a big deal. We ended up having to take it to Best Buy. We have a warranty plan on it. And they said, oh, we'll get it back to you in six or eight or 10 or 12 or 15 weeks. So that means we are working with our GoPro which we like, but it's not our, our normal go-to camera for doing the kind of stuff that we do with the video, especially not the stuff that we've been doing. So if the video is a little bit off um, or whatever, if the audio is not so spectacular, it's kind of our trial. We're putting GoPro through the ringer. I'm inside the bathroom and we've made some great progress with this shower. So the progress is Lindsay has painted white looks spectacular almost looks new again and then i've done a rough sketch and frame out of what i would like to build or what i have to build um, to get the shower into place and it's taken some time and some thinking and some trial and some error what i've got to do is rebuild the frame and start cutting cedar and put the cedar on there i'll show you what we did do this will be part of the frame over in the corner this is just giving us an idea. This will be cedar, but just an idea of how it's going to hold together. And then the frame over here. This wasn't our idea. We did come across it through other videos and other uh, Instagram, but nobody explained how to do it. So I'm going to put together a post. It may not work as well with the video, but I'm going to put together a post because there's a lot of stuff that people make on videos like, oh, it's simple. You just do this, 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 and this. Just unscrew this and screw that there and, you know, laugh and it's all done. And that's not the case. And you know us, we're honest people. We're not trying to make this look like it just magically appeared. It has been now three days of five to six hours of playing around with things. First, trying to figure out how to tear this down because screws were stuck in the wall to realizing that the people who built the camper built this frame for the shower pan but they built it at awkward angles and all kinds of stuff and they were lazy about some things because they didn't expect that 22 years later some guy was going to want to come along and rebuild the shower and make it look nice so anyway there's a lot of things that have not gone well for us and we're up against that now but we'll get that finished today hopefully overcoming all these obstacles and i think you're going to be really impressed with what we put together I've got the base of the shower all framed out and that was just a matter of measuring um, and playing around with how far out we need to come um, with the board so that we can cover everything up with cedar. We had this really crazy little space off to the side by the um, sink counter and so that's filled in nice as a platform and then same thing on the other side. The next thing I'm going to do is frame in the areas that will be the new uh, half walls and once I get that framed in with two by fours and mounted, then we'll be able to go ahead and slap the cedar on there and get this project moving along. Our frame for, um, for this shower wall is built halfway on and halfway off the tub itself. Some you'll see are built right on the tub. Some examples that people have out there, others are built entirely off the tub. Ours goes 
between the tub and off the tub. And there's a reason why. We've got this nice cedar um, one by six down here, and that is going to keep water hitting here and going more in that direction into the tub. We didn't want to have any seam along here where water could get between and go down to the floor. So we did some math based on the width of the cedar and determined that we're going to set up our frame to be about this tall, which I believe is 42 inches from the floor, give or take. And so I'll zip it together, but this is essentially what we're building. this and it's going to be mounted so that it doesn't move I'll go ahead and get that done and we were going to be doing the same thing over here as well but again each shower is different so it's going to be custom to the dimensions that you want you can make your um, false wall as high or low as you want we'll show you why we chose what we chose once we get to putting the copper pipe for um, for the shower curtain but, whoa, there's Huckleberry. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? He came flying in here. And he's gone. Uh, life of a puppy. So um, that's where we are right now. I'm going to go ahead and zip our frame together, mount it to the wall, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Yeah, I have the frame mounted for the right side of the wall, and you can probably see it's going to be easy just to put the cedar going up, the cedar planks. One thing about mounting to the wall of an RV it's an exterior wall, obviously you want to make sure your screws aren't so long they pop out the outside, um, but you also don't know what's out there um, between the walls in terms of wiring or whatnot. Um, with this, we knew what was on the other side of the wall. This is where we have our sliding door. So I actually put the screw right here where there was you can't see it, but there's a piece of wood right here. And so I screwed into that, which was where the manufacturers had installed the glass frame into the wall right there. There's another place where there's another wood brace right here on the other side, and there's a screw hole right there. So I'm gonna use this when I put the two by four coming up. On that note, we've already cut this two by four and Lindsay stained it. So this frame won't be visible, but this will be. And so we've stained that brown and I've got to build the same box over here. So I'm gonna fast forward really quick and show you that box is already built and I'll show you some features about it when I get it in place. Okay, so there's some features about this box. I went ahead and I framed it out and I didn't show you all the gory details of that. Um, but it was trial and error for the most part. What we realized is that the base needed to be a two by six. We had exactly five and a half inches that we needed to use. So that is down here. This is the two by six. And we framed it all the way up to underneath where our cabinet would go. So here's a small box that we built using two by sixes. And that goes underneath our counter, sorry, our counter for our bathroom. And then using two by fours, we built this top little box to go up to the height that we wanted it to go. And then because these may show, we may not get cedar here. We wanted to at least stain it so that it would be sort of matching the bathroom. And so this comes up to this height. This will be exposed right there. And over on this side, 
this will be exposed. So it's going to go there. And once I mount, once I screw into each side, this is a side wall, so I want to be careful not to have long screws that'll go through there and out the outside of the camper. But I'm going to screw this into place. I'll screw this into place. And then, and then the framework will be set up to start laying the cedar all around. And that's going to be a job in itself. I haven't cut any of those cedar planks. Want to make sure everything was in good and working order where it needed to be. But I should be able to cut those pretty standard. Like I know up here is going to be 16 inches across. So I should be able to cut 16 inches all the way up. And we're going to use a nail gun to nail them into place, but we'll get to that in just a moment. So for now, this is in place. This framework, this will screw into place. And this is in place. And you can start to see the vision that we had for the shower. I got everything secured to the wall. It's not very pretty, so we're going to make it pretty again. You can see there's some screw holes. So we're going to use the wood filler. It does awesome work. Now it's time to cut into the cedar and make these planks that we're going to start putting around the frame. I went ahead and cut a couple of them. I'll show you how it's going to look. So this will be down at the bottom. I did have to notch out right here. So there's a multi-tool oscillating saw. It's pretty awesome for doing these little notches. Same thing, I needed to notch right here. But this is exactly 16 inches from here to there. So now I'm gonna cut a bunch of 16 inch planks that are gonna go all the way up here. And then the same measurement, 16 inches, will go all the way up here. And then I'm going to have a board that will go across on the vertical. And we'll tie it all together nicely. So we could, we could zip it together. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Look at that. That first one I'll need to tap in with a hammer, but. It's okay. That's pretty good. Three, two, one. Lift off that one. Look at that. Beautiful. That one went in because I had a good. Beautiful. All right. We're ready to pile them on.
All right, well, that's that side. Um, this one I'm going to nail so good. this board in and this board in because those were the guides coming up. And once I do that, it's just going to be a matter of... So this one... one in and then come back like that you see how that's working mm -hmm. I'm glad I didn't secure that mm -hmm. it's crooked yep oh yeah it's really crooked it's yeah. overhang over here yeah that's fine I just yeah. need to That's more secure, right? Yeah. See that kind of that lines up better. Bet you what happens when we get down there is we find out that it was not level. Ah, that's funny. I'm like, it looks like I made a hole. Well, Chris is gonna tidy this up. Gross. <laughs> and we'll get back with you in a minute. Or a day. Or a day. <laughs> Who knows? It might be tomorrow. Let's see. <laughs> What's the word? You know what? No, you know what I meant. What's the word? No. We just caught Lindsay in one of her cute cutisms. A Lindsayism. A Lindsayism, where she tries to pronounce a word and it's <laughs> slightly off, and I don't mean with like a southern twang, but like. Like I totally butcher it. Inundated. Inundated. <laughs> Inundated. I don't know. Inundated. Inundated. Yeah. You just have to have a little that. more emphasis on the inundated, not inundated. <laughs> so anyway, we are inundated with feelings of euphoria and mm -hmm. goodness because a major project is not done but, but it's almost done oh man does it look good so let's show you let's show you what it's looking like boom we got this wall don't look at the bottom <laughs> yeah. comes on up don't look at all the scuff marks there we're gonna fill all this stuff in beautiful white shower look at that oxygenics shower head this by the way we got a new not the clear one but the nasty new yellow skylight. got a new skylight we're gonna put in when we get up on the roof and then that comes on down there that looks pretty that looks nice this counter is misleading one because it doesn't have a sink <laughs> two it is not locked down but before we put this in place i wanted to make sure i knew the exact dimensions and so counter looks really nice with it too. Mm -hmm. We decided on this side not to put cedar up because we wanted to have a little area where we could store oh, soap still. and um, pills, things we use every day. So what do you think? I love it. I'm so glad that we went ahead and did it. Yeah. It looks so much better. Tearing it out was a whole lot easier than figuring out how to put it back in. But... Mm -hmm. So Awesome. What we have left is going to be a little technical too. There's a couple steps. First, 
I think just to get it finished, looking finished, mm -hmm. we're going to buy, well, we bought the, the mount, flanges. the flanges, and then we got to buy copper and size it correctly so that we have copper coming across here, which is going to be the uh, shower curtain. And we have to get it cut to size and then they have to thread it thread it at Lowe's. Because I don't have the tools for that. And but they have the whole one. set up area set up to do that. So, so we just have to make sure to give them the exact dimensions. You do that because, because if it's off. people at hardware stores tend to like girls more than guys. Yeah. You can go in like you got people to move the wood for you the other mm -hmm. day. That was awesome. I had to move all the wood myself <laughs> when I went. Well yeah but you're a big six foot four strapping that, young man. Oh strapping. <laughs> So we are going to call it a day, go clean up the mess. Lindsay may touch up, I guess, the stain mm, over here. Yeah, and we've got to, so we also have some more technical stuff. Cedar is great with water, but we're going to seal it as well. What's that called? Um, water locks. That's what I'm going to buy. Water locks. Mm -hmm. We're going to put water locks on it. So that will help keep the, the moisture from really soaking in and rotting the wood. And then we also need to seal along the edges. Right along silicone here. Silicone bathroom. So yeah, we got bathroom silicone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like a normal bathroom install. So we gotta do that. And then I have the front to finish. It requires making some cuts. And there's this nasty, ugly space over here that I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with yet. Yeah. So. I'm gonna come back to this and then of course, we've gotta drill our hole for our, our heater vent to pop out. So like all things, the project is not done, but it's close, feels close, looks phenomenal. I'm excited just about how mm -hmm. it looks right now. Exactly. What was once a vision is now, you know, practical. We did it. I don't wanna think okay, about how much, it, it. how much it cost. Like, oh my gosh. The cedar was not cheap, it not cheap not at cheap all. At all. And I only had one bad cut, and I might have another use for it somewhere. In fact, I think I can put it as I can rip it and put it over yeah, there. Yeah, put it here. For yeah. A little yeah. Cubby. Can't afford to waste cedar. If you can afford to waste cedar, make your donations payable to Called to Wander. <laughs> we would love to accept your donations of not wasted cedar, but the money that you can throw at wasted cedar. In any regard, I'm gonna call it for now. I gotta go do the other thing. That's okay, called work. work. And you're gonna do some other stuff. And uh we will we'll get back when we get back, which will be sometime. Yep. Who knows when? But it'll be sometime. Thanks for being a part of this. We're excited to have you along the journey with us. If you learned something, let us know. Be positive. <laughs> Don't be like Chris, you're a bonehead because you should have done this or you should have done that, or what about this, or what about that? We appreciate positive comments, you know that. And you know what happens if you don't leave positive comments. Delete. Does everybody do that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Possibly. It's a, trend. it's a trend I'm starting. Yeah. Anyway, we don't have trolls. You guys are great people. We love having you a part of our journey. And we will see you later. You will see us later.